Hello everyone, welcome to the feeding shop class. Today we are going to perform job number one. So it is the job number one is to make a square from MS round bar. MS stands for the smiled steel, the type of material. So the diagram is given. We need to we need 55 mm length ms round bar whose diameter should be uh, 16 dia mm, and this is the diagram after finishing the job when the rod will turn from round to square the side length will be reduced up to 50 and square side each side should be 11.3 so the required material is mild steel of 16 dia and 55 mm long and tools required rough file center punch smooth file ball pin hammer tri square or leg caliper scriber table wise outside caliper and steel rule these are the tools required to perform the job number one okay okay uh, <coughs> let's start the job number one here uh, is uh, the tools used to perform the job number one and uh, we have uh, we have uh, outlet caliper outlet caliper center punch steel wool tri square some rectangular flat file one more smooth file okay and uh, this one it's called ball pin hammer with the help of this hand tool so we are going to make a square round to square this uh, this your what piece this length is 55 mm and uh, well, by doing some operations, we have to change the shape from round to square. So here is MS round bar. First of all, we need to measure the uh, length 55 mm and uh, we have to measure the length 55 mm then we have to use uh, we need to use this uh, hack shoe to cut the metal. So first of all, we are going to fix the workpiece in travel wise like this. Then here it is the round bar, mild steel round bar. And like this we have to measure the length up to 55 55 mm then mark on the mark 55 mm then So like this we have to cut the one piece 
55 mm length and the diameter is 16. The next step is we have to file after cutting the workpiece we have to file the both end faces of this workpiece by using thread file. For that we have to fix the workpiece in vertical position interval wise then check whether this one is make sure the workpiece is uh, fitted in straight position hide the gears now file the first operation you uh, understand is cutting by using the hand hacksaw and uh, the second operation is uh, we are uh, filing operation this is called filing operations while filing you should move the file in forward direction only and also you have to maintain this flat position okay the file should not go like this should not go like up okay should it, it should go in flat position only After finding then you check this flatness with the help of tri square. Like this, we can check the flatness of the surface. Okay. You can see that. You found some gaps. Here. So it means we have to file. It means the surface is inclined. So we have to make it flat by filing operations. So we got the flat surface on both side of road. The next operation, so we have to find out the center of this round part. I, I will use this uh, chalk piece on the surface. I will paste the chalk piece here. Then. Now, I am using this uh, odd leg caliper to find the center of this round bar. This one is 16 diameter, then I need, I have to set this uh, odd leg caliper in 8 mm, which is the radius, which is the radius of 16 dia. Like this, to check dimensions so we got here uh, 8 mm okay then I will hold this work uh, caliper like a pen and uh, on surface where we pasted the chalk piece and
like this we have to take the supports of your finger to hold the caliper and like this you draw one semicircle you need to draw the semicircle from four sides this is second one third one and fourth one So here you got the intersect line which is the center of round bar. Now I am going to use the center punch to point out that intersect point the center. So I am using this center punch and uh, the support of this ball pin hammer. First of all I have to fix the workpiece in table wise. center punch to mark the center point okay now the next step is uh, we have to draw a vertical and horizontal line by taking the reference of this center point we have to draw the vertical and horizontal line like this okay I am using chalk piece again so that uh, you can see that uh, see the line clearly. Okay, here it is uh, the tool called uh, scriber which is used for marking purpose. So, I am you <coughs> I am going to mark two lines in vertical and horizontal. see that uh, one horizontal and vertical line is marked on the surface now we have to draw a square figure by joining and to end we have to draw one line like this and like this from this end to this end so that we get the square figure we will get the square figure on the surface let's see So like that we have to draw the square figure on the surface of one side surface of the workpiece. Now uh, with the help of uh, this center punch we have to put the dotted marks on this on the line of uh, square figure here.
so like that we have to put the dotted marks on the line of square figure okay now uh, by filing operations we have to remove this unwanted material the rest material on the outside of this square box so step by step we have to file and remove one by one sides by filing operations so like this i am going to fix the workpiece in the jaws of table wise while fixing the job work piece uh, in vice uh, and the face should come in front uh, where it is like this and it's time to file We have to file one side filed. Then this uh, flatness uh, we have to check in tri square. Like this, we can check the flatness in tri square and squareness. We can check here. like that we have to remove uh, one by one side okay and go for the next one So this will take a lot of time filing okay filing operations and after that one by one you can remove the rest materials and then uh, you'll get the this shape square shape finally you will have to check the squareness in try square like this okay <coughs> so like that we have to perform the uh, we have to, uh, done we have done the job number one so here we uh, here we learn uh, cutting filing and marking operations and uh, uh, marking operation and filing operations okay these are the uh, operations we uh, learn in this job